children and welcome to Tuesday's phonics lesson. So I'm going to begin by sharing with you some names of the children who sent me their flashcard phoneme video yesterday. So I'm not going to be showing pictures today so you need to be listening carefully if I call your name okay. So I have got six phonics stars today. I have got Zach, thank you very much for your video and your photographs. India, it was lovely to hear from your mum yesterday, India, and she tells me you're doing some lovely work at home, so keep it up. Alexa, I saw lots of pictures of your phonics yesterday, and also that you did the flashcard phoneme game in a very good time, so well done, Alexa. Fern, I was blown away by all of your pictures yesterday. Super learning from you, Fern, especially in your phonics. Charlie, I know that you wanted a special mention and you've got one because you did your phonics yesterday, so good boy. And lastly but not least is Samuel. You are my sixth phonics star today, Sam, because you were super with your learning yesterday and you did my little challenge as well that I sent over an email. So well done to you six children and let's see if we could get even more phonics stars on my board tomorrow. Okay, let's carry on with our new learning day. So we're going to begin by revisiting the phase three sounds and the phase five phonemes we've learned so far. And we're going to do that with the flashcards again. And I'm going to say them with you today, just to make sure we're getting them all right. And then we're going to do our tricky word trucks as well. And we're going to do phase three tricky words and phase four tricky words today. So remember, we can't sound out tricky words. They are words we have to learn by sight. So we've got to look at them think what they say and say them. Okay, so we're going to do both of these games together today, but see if you can say the words and say the phoneme before me. Okay. So you begin then, flashcards. Oi. Er. Ow. Er. Er. I O E A I O U Oi Ow E O your a e e r give me a thumbs up if you've got them all right some of those sounds are a little bit tricky and some of them we don't see very much in words so we've just got to keep on looking at them keep on practicing them and if there are any phonemes that you are a little bit unsure on just go back to the beginning, play it again, and then if you make note of the ones that you're struggling with, maybe write them down and put them up in your bedroom or in your kitchen so that every time you see them, you can say them to help you remember. Okay, so well done. Now let's move on to our tricky word trucks. So tricky words, say the word, we can't sound it out. Have. Some. One. My, they, me, there, come, out, said, be, are, were, Do little we he all like so what you she her, 
was when thumbs up here one 26 tricky words we had to read there now some of those are very tricky and you might have found them a little bit difficult but don't worry because we're going to keep on looking at them keep on revisiting them until we know them all off by heart okay and we are confident okay so today's sound is already on my screen and it's going to get bigger what is the sound oh well done if you got it correct an a ah and a w when you put them together can make the o oh sound so it's an a ah and a w so practice now writing the grapheme o oh. so the grapheme is how we write it and the phoneme is how we say it so the phoneme o oh, and the grapheme is your letter a and your letter W. Okay, so an A and a W together makes one sound, it is a digraph and it is O. So, okay, so we're going to play Buried Treasure for our practice game today and all of the words in the game have got the O sound in them. And remember, we're looking at the A and the W spelling of O, like we just practiced on our whiteboards. A and a W make all. Now mine have just rubbed off so I'm just writing them really quickly so I can show you. Just like that see, hopefully you've still got yours in front of you to remind you of our sound of the day. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read these words all together. So you need to look carefully at the board because I'm going to add the sound buttons and I would like you to read them with me. Okay year one? Let's begin with the first word, starts with the letter J, O, Jaw, Str, O, Straw, K, O, Core, P, O, Paw, Gr, O, Grow, Shr, Oh, shraw. Don't forget your phase four sounds at the beginning of some of these words, okay? Shraw. Next one. Y, O, N, yawn. Pr, O, N, prawn. P, O, M, horn. O, Oh, oh, awful. Z, o, zo. And the last word, r, o, rope. So we've got 12 words on the list today. Some of them are real, some of them are nonsense words. So I'm going to pick two words that I'm going to sort with you, and then you can continue and complete this game yourself. So remember, Read the word, think about it in a sentence. Is it real? Is it nonsense? And then write it down in the right part of your table or put it in the right pile. So I'm going to choose the word or poor. Thumbs up if it's real, thumbs down if it's fake. And I'm going to write it on my whiteboard. Keep your thumbs up or down is the word poor. Treasure or bin? It is treasure. Dogs have paws. Okay, so my next word is going to be or zor. 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 Is that real? Can you put it into a sentence? Write it down, see if it looks it right. Is it a real word? Or is it a nonsense word? It is a nonsense word. The word saw sounds very similar to saw. When you see something, you saw it, but it is a z, not a s. So it is a nonsense word. It's gone in the bin. So I'd like you now 
to pause my video before you move on to your reply and I would like you to practice reading and writing and sorting these words. Take a photograph and email it to me so I can see. OK, once you've done it, you can then press play and we'll move on to our reply. OK, well done, year one. So for your reply today, I have got two little activities for you to do. The first activity is I would like you to read and to find the missing or word in my two sentences. And then I want you to think of your own sentence using one of the or words from the bottom of my screen. So let's have a look at the first one together. So here at the top, We've got a sentence and it begins with a tricky word. I, I, h, e, old, I held, tricky word, my, d, o, g, s, dogs, I held my dogs. Something. Remember, the word has got to have the o sound in it. I held my dogs or paw. So what I'd like you to do is I would like you to open your yellow exercise book with the lines in it. And then I would like you to copy out the sentence in your best handwriting with a capital letter with finger spaces and with a full stop at the end and add in the missing word. Add your sound button to the missing word and then you have completed the sentence. I held my dog's paw. OK, and if you want to extend that sentence, so if you want to add another part to it, you might want to put because or give me a descriptive word. I held my dog's paw because he sat down and gave it to me. Or, I held my dog's paw and it was soft. OK, so you can add it, edit my sentence and make it better. The next sentence you can do yourself. Make sure you write it down and send it to me on a picture. And then the last part of our reply, we have got the words. What word does this one say here? Pr or n, prawn. Hopefully you know what a prawn is. The next word is y, o, n, yawn. And my last word is j, o, jaw. So you can choose one of the words, think of a sentence, so think first, then say it orally, make sure it makes sense, then write it down and then read it and make sure you've not missed any words. That's really important, okay? So lots to be getting on with today. Make sure you send me your bed videos and your photographs and I will make sure that you are on my stars of the day tomorrow. And I also want to just say that Mitchell, your email has just come through and I'm sorry that you weren't on my phonic stars at the beginning of my video. But here is your special mention today to say well done. OK, so keep it up, Mitchell. Keep it up, everybody else. Only one more day to go after this and then we're back in school. So have a lovely Tuesday. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.